according to the state health department. There has been a five-fold increase in the number of COVID cases among children nine years and younger so far this month compared to July. There's a concern that we could reach the hospital's capacity to take care of children. Hospital pediatric units are gearing up for a triple threat. In addition to COVID, they're preparing for young patients with respiratory infections, including RSV and the flu. We're starting to see some of it now. We expect to see more as people have their last fling of the summer and Labor Day and then go back to school, especially in areas where they're not planning on masking. According to state data, new COVID cases among children nine years and younger averages 91 per day. That's compared to 22 per day in July. According to medical experts, equipment, supplies, tests, and drugs should not be an issue, but staffing and pediatric beds are a concern. We are actively monitoring the numbers of children in hospital beds throughout the state and coordinating, especially with those hospitals that have critical care capacity for children. According to MIMS, there are 271 staff pediatric care beds statewide. Currently, 204 are occupied. Out of the 61 pediatric beds available in Baltimore, 52 are occupied. Respiratory infections are part of the reason why. RSV usually strikes in the fall or early spring. As of last week, there are nearly 100 cases of RSV reported in Maryland. It may uh, have something to do with the, the, the notion that children weren't as social as they were over the past couple of years. Their immune system hasn't been challenged in the way it would typically. Another challenge in Maryland. Hospitals have more resources available for adults than children. This year, we're anticipating that we're going to need pediatrics, all for pediatrics. And so we will need space and we'll need nurses. Doctors expect to see more pediatric patients after the Labor Day holiday and at the start of school, especially in areas that don't require masking. In Northwest Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News.